I had seen actually as we had come in, there was a body, this particular body that I was uh, looking at a little earlier. Tell me a little bit about what what have you already invested as a builder time-wise into getting this body to where it is now? Yes, Gandy. <laughs> <laughs> we glue, you know, two pieces of poplar together, and we sand it to thickness, and then probably a 10 to 15-minute route around the perimeter. Okay. This is very near the beginning of its of its, uh, of its life. Of its course through the shop, yes. We were talking a little bit about these neck, uh, the neck stock that you have here. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about this in particular and what kind of setup time you have involved in this stage. At Again, this if you're going to ask time, then Andy's been, does, does most of the rough work in here, but basically um, this, this, the wood's been cut to, to uh, Allow for the profile the to neck, allow for right. that. To be, the kickbacks we call them to be glued on. Uh, it's had two channels routed for graphite. And what is the advantage of graphite in using it's is just, it reinforcement? It just seems to make us uh, make the next more consistent, and um, it's it doesn't seem to be as important on some instruments as others. You know, if there's a lot of tension for a twelve string or a very long neck, I see. Um, but. Um, on our standard tune sixes, we won't put it in, but on a five string, a long neck bass, we will. I've always been fascinated with the fixturing and the procedures you use. In other words, all the fixtures you see here and here right. are basically used to make the guitars. And I've, I've tried to refine things to the point where the instruments are going together efficiently. For instance, on his 12 string, uh, the fixture has all the holes for the headpiece, so yes. there's not a separate drilling. The same time, pardon the screws. Yes. Same time, the, 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 this instrument will go on like that. I get, see. Uh, sc screw down through some tiny, tiny screws here. And then the router, the router um, guide, the, uh, the pin, the router pin will follow the shape. Understood. And the cutter will make the cut on top. And if you could just hold that actually just straight up so we could see exactly how that looks. So, but also, then the pin can drop, can drop into here, then you push down, and, and this fixture will also make the holes for the tuning machines, I and see. it'll all be registered together. And part of the charm for, you know, for me with this is that I feel like, like, essentially I'm working with, with elements that, um, I feel like there's a kind of alchemy that happens when you make a, a, a guitar, an instrument, any instrument. Absolutely. And the reason any of us are tangentially or directly involved with making music is because there's a fascination with that creative process. Yes. So what I feel like I do when I try to come up with a fairly efficient, um, non-struggling kind of procedure that helps the that make helps make the instrument. I feel like, in a way, what I'm doing is more working with the material than fighting it, inflicting uh, trauma on it. Yes. You know, it's a subtle difference, but I feel like it makes a difference. And I feel like what, I, what we do here is we're trying to sort of manifest this beautiful stuff, which is really music, yes. through what we do. And, uh, you know, I'm sure it's part of what you're doing. Yes. You know, yes. You, you're, you're not talking about linoleum, you're talking yes. about guitars. That's right. And the thing is, once you really kind of appreciate that end process is sort of magical, then there's a certain uh, energy about the whole thing that transcends, like, manufacturing, yes. or making a buck or making a video. Yes, right. And... I feel like the closer I can get to sort of working with the wood, and all of us here, yes. rele releasing the instrument that's inherent in this wood that we're getting and these, these materials, it's sort of respecting the material rather than, rather than sort of trashing it. That's right. You know, I mean, a tree is beautiful, but so are these guitars. Do you feel it sometimes when you're at the end of a building process, especially on an instrument that you felt you've released, in a, in a, which you probably feel this way commonly, there's sometimes an attachment to that instrument no. that's, no, you have no... Because, it, because it's it. not going to do any, it's not an instrument unless it's getting played. And I can't play all these instruments, neither can these guys. Correct. Release it to the so, world. So, no, it's, uh, 
And it's not even about seeing Dave Matthews playing it on stage. Yeah. It's just knowing that someone's going to be sitting at home. You know, I have a customer who'll call me up and say, you know, he was really depressed, you know, with his yeah. he's going through with his wife, and he picked up the guitar and it helped him that. that and it day. really helped him. He felt he it made him feel good, and you know, it's really about that. It's that. It's about energy. The energy yes. that that's in music. Yeah.